I have a quick tip for you on using global swatches in Adobe Illustrator. So you should already know global swatches are these swatches right here, the ones with the little white triangle in the corner. And if I select the art, you can see this red circle is colored by this red swatch here because it's highlighted. That's something that global swatches enable. And as I select each one of these circles, you're gonna see each swatch in this group highlight as I do this. So each object here has a global swatch applied to it. So one of the great things about using global swatches is you can double click on that swatch and you can update and change the color. So just first check preview and then you can work with the sliders and you can see that color, that swatch changing as you make adjustments on the artboard. Then you click OK and you can see that swatch has changed and the art is changed. Well, a really quick way to recolor individual global swatches in Illustrator is to hold down the Option or Alt key. So watch as I take one of these swatches here and drag it. I just replace that color in the swatch, but I'm also recoloring the art. As I do this, I'm just holding down the Option or Alt key and dragging one swatch on top of another. And it doesn't matter if what you're dragging is a normal swatch and you drag it over a global swatch, you're not overriding that global property you're just replacing the color of the swatch. So how could this be useful to you? Well, here's an example here where I have a packaging mock-up and I've got a light pink swatch here. I've named it bag color. And if I just wanna try out some different background colors for this art, I can just hold Option or Alt, take a swatch and drag it over that bag color swatch and replace it. So I can just test out a few different colors really quickly. And if I decide to leave one of these in place, what you can see is if I double click on this swatch, it still retains the name bag color, but of course the color has changed. And in this case, I was using a Pantone color. So I have the Pantone formula here. I don't have the Pantone name on this new swatch, but at least I have the formula here and I can go back and rename it later if I need to. So that is your quick tip for replacing colors by holding the Option or Alt key. And because we're using global swatches, those replaced colors actually update your art. My name is Laura Coyle. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. If you'd like more Illustrator tips and tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you for watching.